time to enter Unit 3. At the conclusion of Unit 2, we studied a major turning point, the Council of Nicaea. During this unit of study, we will continue on with the next three ecumenical councils of the early church. One of the giants of church history is Augustine of Hippo, so we will give him special attention. And we will survey several early church fathers and early church mothers. We will wrap up Unit 3 with a look at early church worship. There are a number of bonus features during this unit, and I hope that you will take advantage of them. During the first lecture, you will be introduced to Nestorius, who was deposed from his position as Archbishop of Constantinople and returned to Antioch of Syria. A religious movement organized around him there. They call themselves the Church of the East. Historians refer to them as the Nestorius Church. The Nestorian Church was very missions-minded, and they headed eastward along the Silk Roads, and they evangelized India and China. In 2006 and 2011, I visited my sister Lynn, who lives in China, and on both trips I saw evidence of Christianity from ancient times. And so I have posted a number of pictures of a pagoda and artifacts in a museum that will show you the remainders of early Christianity in China. Also, I've included information about the Apocrypha and a chart about the controversy between Augustine and Pelagius. Included in the lecture on Christian worship are more pictures from my travels, photos of baptismal pools in North Africa, Israel, and Rome. These baptismal pools provide evidence that the early church practiced baptism by immersion during the first five centuries at least. As you read through the PowerPoints, please also listen to the audio lectures. They will help you read between the lines of text to learn more about these influential individuals, groups, and movements of the early church. So, let's keep going. <music>